So the Connect for Windows device doesn't actually come with any kind of software disk or USB drive or anything like that. Uh, it's just the device. And right now, there aren't really many applications out there for it. Uh, in fact, I don't know of any that are available. Uh, so if you want to play with it after you get it, uh, you just come over to the connectforwindows.com site, and you'll have to come up to develop and go to the download SDK. And then from here, you can just download the SDK so you can uh, you know, start programming for it if you want to. But the file size is a little bit big, so I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And I've got it right here. And so after you install the, the, the Connect SDK, you get this little program that you can open up. That is the Connect for Windows SDK sample browser. And what this allows you to do is see the actual code for a couple of different things and uh, run some samples. So the key one that, that that's the most fun to start out with just to see what the Connect can do is this Connect Explorer. And if you click Run Sample, uh, the application will pop up. You'll see this little guy right here. Um, this guy is important because he is um, basically telling you that the Connect is actually active and connected. Um, but this right here is the actual uh, Connect Explorer window. And so let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And with this, uh, you can see, now you can see me, uh, hi, again, and uh, you can see that what, what actually is coming in from the Connect. you can see that there is uh, the, the visual camera, there is a depth camera, and then at the bottom, you can see two things. Uh, the yellow line there is showing the where the audio is coming from, and then uh, uh, so, so that you can kind of like figure out, you know, it knows what's going on, uh, where the audio is coming from. If I click over here, this is where it gets really cool for us geeky types. Uh, we can kind of see what's actually happening behind the scenes with the Kinect. Uh, and so you've got some controls here. That this, this right here is for the regular camera. And if you're uh, recording video ever, you're going to want it to be at 30 FPS frames per second. Um, but the, the Kinect does do a bit of a higher resolution, 1280 by 960. And so you get a much better image quality but the, res the uh, frames per second goes down to 12 frames per second, so that's really not worth it for um, trying to capture video. Over here we have the depth stream, and um, you can see that, that it's kind of, you know, over here, um, if you can't see my finger, what, uh, 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 on the depth part of it, uh, it looks kind of choppy. Well, you can upgrade that to the 640 by 480. It gets a little smoother, um, but now uh, you'll see that I, Right now, you can see that you know things aren't looking so hot. Um, gray kind of is like, like the way this works is depending on the tone and color, uh, that's telling the system how far away things are. And so when you get up close, it kind of just all you know get, get I, I you know it, it doesn't know what to do with me. This is the really neat feature of the Connect for Windows. This is what the whole big deal is about, and changing the range here from default to near. And you can see that this changes. And so now, I, instead of being white um, and the system not recognizing me, I change it to near and it's closer. It, it, it takes a closer read and now it, it can tell a little bit more about what's going on with me. Um, this is important because with the Xbox, it's set up for a living room type destination where you're, you're far away from the TV, jump around and play and whatnot. With the Connect for Windows, it's more of a desktop solution. And so you're gonna be closer to the Connect. Now, I'm very close to Connect right here. Um, and it can read me all the way, you know, it, it, it knows what's going on because it's in near mode. So that's that's super important. And that right there, that's the cool feature about the Connect for our Windows. That right there is what's going to change the world. Um, it's a silly thing. It's a small thing. But taking that, that, that living room experience where you're so far away to being right here where the Connect knows what's going on and can, t and it can tell uh, right this far away how, how far away I actually am, huge deal. And then, of course, and I should change this from the very beginning um, because I hate, uh, you know, there, there's the rule of thirds um, in video producing. And so, really, my elevation angle should have been way, uh, even a little bit further, maybe, um, down here. And so, you can change that to, to see uh, what the actual elevation, you know, what the angle of the connect is. And you can control that programmatically, too. So, that is the very intro, uh, the very basics of the connect for Windows. Looking forward to exploring it. Looking forward to see uh, how the connect is going to change the world. And, uh, Let's get some apps up there.